So some glacial landforms are formed by the action of the glacier pushing and shoving, like a bulldozer or a snowplow shoves and pushes all this material in front of it. But there are other landforms that are formed uh, by the glacier melting. Uh, there's constantly meltwater running off of, of glaciers. Uh, and so in, in this little bit, what I'd like to show you is really what kinds of landforms result just from the action of, of running meltwater as it's flowing off of that glacier. Uh, so we'll look at a couple of those right now. So what I'm going to do is just stack up some glacial ice here. There's a big chunk of ice simulating our glacier. I'm really stacking up a lot of ice here uh, to, to produce a big source of, of meltwater. So uh, as this glacier is, uh, is melting, we'll kind of look and see what kind of landforms result from, from the running off of, of that meltwater. So one thing that you might have noticed while the glacier was melting and all this meltwater was running off is that the meltwater was running off all in one direction. It was flowing downhill. Any glacier anywhere in the world, no matter where it is, while it's melting, the water is going to seek the lowest point, uh, eventually the ocean. Um, and so this meltwater is running all off. It's kind of all running down this way. So all this meltwater that's running off of the glacier kind of runs off in these big fans or sheets of water. Um, and so this area where all this water is running down is characterized by remarkable flatness. And so it's called a plain. The name for this area where all this water is running off is called the outwash plain. Outwash plains are sometimes characterized uh, by the presence of what are called braided rivers. And what braided rivers are, uh, they're these gorgeous, uh, beautiful structures um, of dozens or hundreds or even thousands of rivers running down this, this outwash plain that's very, very flat. And because it's so flat, the rivers kind of can't make up their mind where to go. They zig and zag, they kind of step on each other's toes. And so as they're running down the outwash plain, there's just this gorgeous, beautiful uh, pattern, almost looks like curly hair uh, as the rivers uh, flow toward the ocean. So one important structure that results from glaciers melting is outwash plains and the structures that are associated with them.